secretion of proteins. When our desired protein it is expressed, then it may have biotechnological application. So under such situations, it must be released from the cell into the external environment from where it can be collected uh, for further use. Uh, so for this purpose, microbes must have efficient transportation system so that when protein it is being synthesized within the cytoplasm, then uh, it must be efficiently transported across the inner or outer membrane of microbes. The host organism, as I quoted a number of times, that uh, for example, if it is E. coli, uh, it is a type of gram negative bacteria. If we have a look on its structure, then uh, this host organism it contains two membrane systems. First membrane, it is called as inner membrane or cytoplasmic membrane and uh, after the cytoplasmic membrane on outer side a cell wall is present and then external to the cell wall an additional membrane is present which is called as outer membrane and the space between outer and inner membrane it is called as periplasmic space now the express proteins it can be transported from the cytoplasm to the periplasm and then from the periplasmic space to outside the cell. And here different proteins, they again can assist in the process of transportation that we are going to uh, discuss later on. Uh, at this moment, we can say that the universal mechanism that is important for the export of expressed proteins it is called as General Export Pathway or GEP and in General Export Pathway uh, there is assistance of different type of facilitating proteins or helping proteins uh, which uh, simply can be abbreviated as SEC or uh, SEC proteins or secretion uh, proteins. Now during the process of GEP or General Export Pathway Proteins that are the substrate are target for export. They have a specific N-terminal signal sequence. This N-terminal signal sequence, uh, it facilitates the movement of proteins from the cytoplasm to the external uh, site. If we look at N-terminal signal sequence, we have three major domains. ये पार्ट्स नजर आएंगे इसका जो आउटर पार्ट है एन टर्मिनस जिसे कहते हैं इट इज पॉजिटिवली चार्ज्ड इसके बाद जो सेंट्रल डोमेन है इट इज हाइड्रोफोबिक इन नेचर सो इट कंटेंस मोस्ट ऑफ द अमीनो एसिड्स दैट आर हाइड्रोफोबिक एंड आफ्टर दैट देयर इज अ क्लीवेज साइट फॉर पेप्टिडेज बिकॉज़ व्हेन प्रोटीन्स दे आर एक्सपोर्टेड देयर एन टर्मिनल सिग्नल सीक्वेंस इट इज क्लीव्ड with the help of enzyme which is called as peptidase. So these are the three domain of N-terminal signal sequence and overall we can say that that the N-terminal signal sequence is helping the protein in transportation mein help karta hai, especially those proteins which are from the cytoplasm se bahar ki taraf move from the cytoplasm. This is the situation of such proteins which are native and single express. Hoti जैसे मैंने कहा कि बाज दफा प्रोटीन्स अगर फ्यूज्ड फॉर्म में एक्सप्रेस हों, जिसको हम हाइब्रिड प्रोटीन्स कहते हैं या फ्यूजन प्रोटीन्स कहते हैं, तो इनकी स्टेबिलिटी कंपैरेटिवली ज्यादा होती है। तो इसके लिए जो सिस्टम है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन के वो इतने वेल नोन तो नहीं है, लेकिन ये रिपोर्ट किया गया है कि सच so, uh, in this case again, different type of uh, uh, SEC proteins or SE proteins, they are involved in this process. The export of fusion protein, it was first time reported around 1978 when workers uh, were able to uh, report the transportation of such uh, fusion proteins like the 
proinsulin from the rat along with some um, beta lactamase enzyme. So such uh, fusion proteins they were exported successfully uh, in case of E. coli. In addition to that, the transportation of the proteins uh, across the cytoplasmic membrane uh, it may be interrupted by different type of uh, uh, proteases that are present and uh, so that especially when proteins they are present in unfolded state when they are in unfolded state uh, lack of tertiary structure then proteases can target them and degrade them so to avoid this uh, there are certain families of chaperone proteins within the periplasmic space uh, like DSBA protein or chaperone. So this DSBA chaperone protein, they can introduce disulfide bonds uh, in target protein like alkaline phosphatase spores uh, so that uh, they can be prevented from degradation. Otherwise, if uh, such chaperone proteins are not there like DSBA uh, chaperone protein, so alkaline phosphatase uh, it will fold very slowly and even uh, if proteus uh, target them then they can also be uh, degraded so for the export of uh, proteins uh, as i told you that the main system again we can say that the overall it is a general secretory pathway or gsp that we are going to target in uh, next topic and uh, in this pathway different set of proteins and they are facilitating the movement of proteins uh, across the membranes of microbes.